Good morning YouTube, welcome back, welcome back to the channel, welcome back. For those that don't know, my name is Matthew and as I say, I do, I'm, I, I do various MTG based content. I do basically pack openings and various command videos as well, as well as some other stuff. I do video game content as well. All right, today we're going to do a video and we're going to open some packs from the new magic set. So the new set is Modern Horizons 3. And for those that don't, don't know these sets, this is more a kind of premium kind of set because the packs are more expensive than the regular packs although they did do pre-release packs for this set so i mean we say today we're going to open some packs from the new set i'm going to tell you a little bit about the set what i open and various things i mean you say for those that don't know me in paper i'm a commander player mostly so i'm i'm looking at these cards in perspective for uh, limited and basically things i can put into my commander decks and also there's this set i do various videos based on my uh, commander decks in my series they'll be all be linked in a, in playlists uh, so they're easy for you to find all right don't forget to like comment and subscribe thank you very much for viewing all right let's go on with the set so today we're going to and then let me just say i'm filming on my red man and matt man is matt i mean you say i opened the packs ahead of time i've o i've opened the wrappers i haven't looked at the packs i mean say for those that don't know this is the modern horizons pack so these are Modern Horizons free packs now. So these are more expensive. I mean, you say you're more likely to get some uh, premium kind of cards because they've they've reprinted the fetch lands, uh, uh, and they're just rares. There's also a various selection of various Eldrazi, some of them being new. So I'll show you the pre-release pack. So this is basically, uh, I opened it because I was at the pre-release event, but I'm just showing you because I want a bit more to say. And as I said, we're not going to have as many boosters on this video today. And there's not going to be the regular code giveaway, although there will be a code giveaway. It won't be the most recent one. All right, this is an Horizons uh, free pre-release box. So they did them. And the best things coming freeze is the text that's written on it, which is referring to the Eldrazi Trinity, which is... Uh, that these ones, Emerald, Kool, Kozilek, and Ormog, the various things. The the artwork on the Eldrazi is very Lovecraftian with the kind of gothic horror kind of style. Anyway, I like the artwork on the set. The art on the set is quite good. I'm not sure about the play experience. It feels a bit like corset and a bit basic to me. Anyway, that's the art on the box. There was a dice. Uh, this is the thing. Let's see if I can get this dice out quickly. Yep, yeah, I've got the dice out. We have much at all. That is the dice. You always get a dice in a pre-release pack. And that's the Eldrazi symbol. Okay. So now we're going to commence opening the regular packets. Wish me luck. As I say, I'm basically, I'm hoping for the jackpot for me will probably be an Ulamog. That's going for about 65s currently at like this kind of period, which I'm filming about. A, a, uh, it's on, I filmed on just, on, I did my release event at the uh, just at the weekend and then so this is about a week into the set of being out i mean you say if you're going to buy singles i'd wait wait give it a week or so for it a uh, week or two for it to settle down and then see what you want right wish me luck i'll explain a bit about so there's various different okay, there's a lot i'll try not to spoil anything so about I, I i i i'm trying to f film this kind of like one-handed i don't have a mount particularly for the phone all right so this is uh, there's various equipment in the set so living weapons so these basically they come into play with a germ a zero zero black friction germ equip to it and when when it moves basically the token will die because it gives the equipped creature plus one, plus one this one it will be whenever it equip one and a black for a living weapon equip creature plus one plus one whenever a quick creature attacks each opponent loses one life so it scales up in multiplier and it's got a quick cost of two and then foul strike, destroy target creature with flying, but they re reinforce. So they've decided to. Re so basically, the, the set has a load of mechanics that come back. Reinforce is one of them. So for those that don't reinforce it, it's pay this mana, discard this card, put two counters on target creature. Then we've got expel the things. Got kicker. They've also decided to reprint some cards with kicker. Kicker is a good mechanic though. It's quite flexible in what it does. So. What, a kicker basically reads you may pay an additional x as you cast a spell from an additional effect so what this is a, like a swords to plowshares effectively it's called expel the unworthy it's quite good in limited anyway and it's a common 
because the various cards in this set have been basically, some of the rares have been downshifted from uh, rare and the things are not the same as rarities are. The average card in the big pack is quite powerful anyway. One of the white for two and a white kicker. Choose target creature with mana value three or less. If the spell was kicked instead, choose target creature X or the chosen creature, then its control against life equals to its mana value. Fang Flames. So basically, Devoid is back. So Devoid basically is well, it's like a kind of it's like a subtype kind of thing. It's but it's not it's not really a subtype. Basically, this card has no color, and there are various things that trigger on this kind of effect. Fang Flame is just a burn spell for one and a red. It deals four damage to a creature or planeswalker. If the creature or planeswalker would die this turn, exile it instead. Utter insignificance. That's new. It's a flash speed. For one and a blue enchant creature, enchanting creature loses all abilities and has base power and toughness one and one. It's got two and a colorless XL enchanted creature. There are lots of cre uh, things in the in the set that basically will trigger when you have colorless mana, and there's a whole series of lands which we'll see probably in a minute because there's always a land in the pack. Yeah, it's just coming up that will trigger on this. Grave dig. It has entwine, which is another mechanic. So it's choose both if you pay the entwine cost. So this is one and black. Choose one target player creates a two-two black zombie or return target creature from your graveyard to hand with entwine two. So these are the cycle of uh, the common cycle of lands, and they're quite they're fine for limited. I mean, twist. They're all basically a cycle. So they all tap for colorless mana. But they have like a fetch land. So it's sacrifice twisted landscape. Search your light view. This is the grit. Uh, uh, sorry, this is the oh, uh, uh, this is the one. Search your library for a basic swamp, mountain, or forest. Put it onto the battlefield. Tap and shuffle. Which cycling black, red, green? Deceptive landscape. The Absan one. Horrid shadow spinner. That's quite cool. It's a one blue and a black. I think it, I believe it's a new card for a two three life linker. When it attacks, you may draw cards equal to its power. If you do discard that many cards, so it's a, a, like a thing to react, uh, put things into the graveyard for a reanimator. Vexing Bauble. It's when a player cast a spell. If no mana was spent to cast it, counter the spell. One, sacrifice, draw a card. And there's, oh, there's, bear in mind, there's double face cards in this set as well. So when you're playing in draft, you have to reveal them. So this is free, a green, a uh, free and triple green for a free three. It's when it enters a battlefield, you may sack another creature. You do gain life and draw cards where X is the creature's power, so it's similar to one of the other cards. And they all have most of these double face cards have la uh, land on the back. There are some that are planeswalkers and stuff. Maybe we'll open some of those. I got one on the my previous uh, event anyway, the draft. When it enters the battlefield, you may pay free life. You do, they all enter the battlefield tapped unless you pay free life. Okay, so we we get there. We're trying not to spend too much time on the figs. Okay, so these, these are the uh, Shrieking Drake. So this is a, uh, it's basically a combo piece. It's a 1-1 one, one flyer. It, when it enters the battlefield, return a creature to its owner's hand. Oh, so this is an, uh, te uh, this is Abtruse Aberration. It's two, a white and a black for an instant. It has no color. Exo target, non-land permanent. You may cast this card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend colorless mana as a man of any color to cast that spell. And a contaminated landscape in foil. And an art card. Do like the art cards. They don't come in all the boosters. Sometimes you get an art card, sometimes you get an advert. So this is the this one, they have 54 art cards. This is party thrasher. Good in a uh oh I forget prosper, prosper's the prosperous one. Right, let's go to booster two. That wasn't great. I won't spend a huge amount of time on them uh, on the commons. Uh, this is this plus six, six plus six enchantment. Sliff. Okay, so these ones, as I remember, to Sif, which are the things from Star Wars. No, these are Sliffs. So these are an old school kind of card. They were they were originally, was it Mirrodin? I believe they were an original Mirrodin. Because they were basically, a Sliff is like a creature that when, when it deals combat damage to a player, it basically grows, it gets additional plus one, plus one counters when it goes through. And this is a continuation of the cycle after quite a long time. So this is Hex Gold Sliff. This is one and a white for a two one. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy counters. Yeah, so energy is back in this set. There are lots of things, and basically, energy is like an additional resource. It's 
not like mana, but it's an additional resource. You gain various things, give you energy, and you get uh, basically get various effects when you have cards that require a certain amount of energy for the things. We'll see some as we go through. All right, this one gives you two when it comes into play on a 2-1. It's whenever it attacks, you may pay white and a white. If you do, it gains first strike until the end of the turn. And whenever it deals damage to a player, put a plus one, plus one count on it. So giving your guy first strike is in the early game is a quite a, a detriment to people blocking. If they block it, they normally lose their creature. And if they let it through, it gets harder and harder to deal with. Okay, so that's a slip. This is just a cool card. This is Thriving Skyclaw. This is two and a red, red for three, two with flying. It's a cap dragon. They haven't done... Um, there is many other cap dragons. They only got the one that's rare, I think. Oh no, is it rare? I'm not even sure it is a cap dragon. It makes cap dragon tokens anyway. So the, when this enters, you get free energy, and it's whenever it attacks, you may pay free to put a plus one plus one count on it. As you see, plus one plus one counters and another one of the themes in the set. Electrozo. This is a jellyfish with energy. Uh, it's flash flying. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. At the beginning of pre-main combat, main phase, tap, tap it unless you pay blue. So it's just a cheap flyer. It's two and a blue. Then we have the refurbished familiar. Three and a black for a two, one. Oh, it's a, zo it's a zombie rat. Oh, I was I might consider that in my rat deck as well. I didn't realise it was a rat. Anyway, it's an, it has, it's an artifact. It has affinity for artifacts. For those that don't have affinity, it's... A, another one of the mechanics that's been reprinted in this set. So affinity basically re reads, this spell costs one colourless less for each artefact you control. So normally this costs four mana. Realistically, in an affinity deck, you're just going to pay the colour of mana cost for it, which in this case is black. So this is a 2-1 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. For each opponent who can't, you draw a card. Then we've got the... Uh, uh, the X, but so there are various creatures in this set that are bestowed, so it harkens back to Pharos block. So this is Nyxborn Hydra, this is an X and a green for a zero one. We've reached a trample when it enters the battlefield with plus X plus one, plus one counters, and it's enchanted creature gets plus one plus one for each plus one plus one counter on it. It has reached and trample in its bestow cost. Basically, bestow reads, if you cast this for its bestow cost, it becomes an aura spell with enchant creature. It becomes a creature again if it's not attached. So basically, unless it fizzles on the thing, you're going to get some value out of it at least. All right, the land, cranial ram. So this is just one of the key cards for in the set. It's basically, it's like a cranial plating, but it's a quick creature. It gets X plus X plus one, where X is the number of artifacts you control. And it doesn't have the instant speed move that the cranial plating did, which is what made the card busted. Cranial ram is a black and a red, and it is equipped to. All right, copy crook. It's just a copy. It's another clone effect. But it's two and a blue for a thing. You may have copy crook enter the battlefield as a copy of any creature on the battlefield, except it has whenever the creature attacks, it connives. So connive is draw a card, then discard a card. If you discard it in non-land, put a plus one, plus one counter on this creature. I'm feeling personally the set doesn't feel particularly that interesting for in terms of limited. Their cards are constructed, but they're like all, all sets. Quest for Neck, Landfall, they've got various different cards with Landfall. So Landfall is basically when a land enters the battlefield under control, you get some effects in this count. It's put a quest counter on it. So they, they, they had, they've, haven't had quest cards for a long time with this kind of effect, but they do come back for this. And it, this has five and a black, sacrifice it, put target creature from a graveyard onto battlefield under control, one less for each quest counter on it at sorcery speed. Suppression Razor, this is a, one of the better uh, flip modal cards. So this reads three blue and a white, blue and a white. To tap all creatures, target player controls, you may, oh, you may pay X, then choose up to X creatures, tap this way, put a stun counter on them. And it's on, oh, I can already see the rest, sorry for that, I'm trying to avoid it. All right, so that's the coming to play tap land. Good card. Okay, let's see. Uh, Urza's Incubator. So this is the rare. So the, you, you, this is Urza's Incubator. This is one that harkens back for a while. So this is, basically, it's good in tribal decks in Commander. It's a three mana artifact, which means you choose a creature type. Creatures, spells of the chosen type cost two less to cast. So basically, you 
it's good in decks that require lots of large, large costing things. Oh, I think we've got our first deep as uh, Okay, so now we, we, we're getting that. We want, th this is what kind of what we wanted. So these packs are improving. This pack's okay. The first one was terrible. All right, this is polluted delta. So this is one of the sack lands. So this is basically the normal printing of it. There's a ex uh, like an alternate old school one foil ones, apparently. And according to the pack, they're less than 1% of packs. I have not seen one. And this is only my second fetch land. I've had a... The green white one, the as well as this. All right, polluted delta, blue black fetch land. That's good. And we've got conduit goblin in foil, which I think is good in limited. It's a red and a white for a two two. It's when it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. A beginning combat on turn, you may pay energy one energy. If you do another target creature you control, gets plus one plus zero and gains haze. All right, so we're on pack three. There's five packs. We're going to have some other stuff as well. We're going to have some pro. We're going to show you some promos and some other stuff before the video. This is going to be quick for me. Apologize for the small amount of product, but like I, I, this is more expensive. The drafts are in the UK. I'm in the UK. I'm in England. For those that don't know me in person, are costing the drafts are around thirty seven, and the sealed deck was fifty five. So I'm going to have less packs, and these are all from prizes. I didn't buy any of them this time. And uh, Sage of the Unknown, Ball, this is one of blue for a zero four. Taps fill colourless, but he spends uh, the mana only to cast a colourless spell or to activate an ability. Oh, I'll just move. Trying to do this one handed. And then we've got Temporal Oozwag. So, uh, a Brushwag used to be a joke that you named on Cavern of Souls. I'm filming upstairs today, that's the train just went past. Right, so the, we've got the Temple Oozwag. Brushwag used to be a, ca a, a joke card you used to name off Cavern of Souls. Now they're actually some decent ones, and they're like two or three recently as well. This one's quite good. It's four ma three and a green for a 4-4 four, four with Adapt 2. So Adapt basically is a mechanic in the set, basically it deals with plus one, plus one counters, and it has some additional effect, some of the creatures, if they have plus one, plus one count on it. This is Casey's Modified Creatures, so... Mod creatures are equipped either with equipment or as or counters and that basically it's a cool card the creature types are great I mean you say Thraven Charm just a modal card don't mean to axe flash speed uh, uh, like uh, axe with energy mechanic associated with it don't really need to go into a common uh, temple hall uh, harvest it's like a looter but you have to pay energy keep doing them it's sneaky, sneaky sn snacker that seems cool i like the art on it and it's a blue black it's another fairy it's two one flyer it's when you draw your third card in a turn return it from the battlefield to your graveyard uh return from your graveyard to battlefield tap sorry even landscape this be a good Titans Vanguard. So the, the, this is one of the Void cards. So this is a free of red and a green for a 5-5. Five, five. It's when you cast this spell, whenever it attacks, put plus one, plus one count on each colours creature you control. And it is a colours creature. Planar Genesis. Simic, kind of green and blue. Look at the top four cards. Put a land card from among them onto the battlefield tapped. If you don't put a card from among them into your hand, put the rest on the bottom in any order. Bogot Trawler. That's two and a black for a free one. When it enters the battlefield, the exile target plays graveyard. And you've got a bog up bog, which is the only, not the Bajuka bog. Anyway, it's kind of like a Bajuka bog. A Theomancer says you two and a black for a two two. At the beginning of each upkeep, if you control no snakes, create a one one black creature token with death touch. So that was originally in the commander's set. So the. Uh, basically, they've. So the, yet this set seems to be aimed at modern they have commander decks there's a whole uh, set of them as normal so they're trying to push that as well so i don't really know if they need it anyway, i wouldn't be surprised if they did like a pioneer masters at the, uh, some point as well that wouldn't be a bad idea for some people anyway i don't mind as long as the cards are legal in commander that's fine by me all right flare of malice this is two black and a black so this basically there's a whole cycle of spells I think some of them are reasonably expensive, actually, on release. I mean, this is the black one, so this is basically a free spell if you pay some other alternate cost. And the, this one being, you may sack a non-token black, non black creature rather than pay the mana cost. 
It's each opponent sacks a creature or planeswalker with the greatest seems, uh, greatest mana value among creatures and planeswalkers they control. And if you're paying the regular cost, it's two black and a black. That's not bad. And I've got Wither and Bloom for the foil and the Frixian Germ token, which is basically for the living weapon. And some, I believe some, some of them are double-sided. All right. Right, we've got two more packs. Let's hope. I mean, two out of three aren't bad. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps grow the channel. Uh, like the vox bulk of my viewers aren't subscribed. We're trying to double the subscribers this year. I will be back later. My in in the month, I'll be doing some other videos. The my magic ones I'm going to do. I'm going to do another commander video. The last one I did was dinosaurs. So that one wasn't humongously popular, but I still feel it should be. I think I did it uh, not really near when it should have been. I, I delayed it because I haven't got all the cards. So anyway, I'll be doing another one of those. And I mean, Bloom Barrel will be coming soon, and I might do some gameplay video at some point. I mean, as I say, I'm going to do another Commander video. It's probably going to be my mill deck, my thing. Uh, Nightshade Dryad, that's just a nice, good mana draw. This one's got Death Touch. Also, attached for colourless, or co any colour, just a good card. What do you kite? A cheap uh, way to give your creatures flying. Expanding ooze. Good common if you're in the kind of adapt, kind of archetype. One a black and a green for a free free. With black, green, adapt one, it's whenever it attacks, put a plus one, plus one counter target, modified creature you control. Another crook. Ball ball. Defiler, so this is now Drazi. This has got three blue, blue for three five. This uh, it's got devoid, so it has no color. It also has kicker colorless. You may pay additional uh, uh, as the you cast a spell. And so when you cast a spell, choose one. If it was kicked, choose both. Return target creature to its owner's hand and target by draws two, then discards a card. We've got Frixian Ironwork, so it's another energy generator. Whenever you tap, you get uh, one energy. And it's pay free, create a free, free colours golem. Um, here we go. So we've got Layla the Bath Blade Reforged for the rare. So two and a red for a two do with haste. Whenever it attacks, exile the top card of your library and you play that card this turn. Whenever one or more cards are put into exile from any from your library and or your graveyard, put a plus one plus one counter on it. So it's good in prosper again. Second rare in this pack is Ripples of Undeath for one and a black. For an enchantment at the beginning of your pre-combat main phase, mill three cards, then you may pay one and three life. If you do, put a card from among those into your hand. Don't think that's very good. Galvanic Discharge, just like a burn spell attached with energy, only does creature or play. Oh, the creature or planeswalker, not play. A foil land, that's quite nice. And a art card. All right, so we've got last pack, and then we've got some other stuff quickly, and then we'll round up the video. So far, not amazing. Like, I got one land. That's not bad. The second, the sec uh, like, another one wouldn't be a miss. But these packs are relatively expensive. They don't seem as uh, easy to get the fetch lands as Horizon 2 does. Faithful Watchdog. That's going to go into my dog deck that I'll be building at something. I'll be doing a Renin Siri dog deck. But, like, it's going to be dogs only. There's going to be no cats at all. I've already got a cat deck. So, I mean, I'm going to say, oh, those who don't know me in person, I've been playing uh, 20, 20, over 20 years. I've been playing since uh, uh, since Odyssey or end, end of Invasion to Odyssey. And that was around 2001. All right, so this is Raptors. This is another dinosaur. But it won't make my dinosaur deck, I can tell you. Because it's got any, it basically is an energy generator, so it really do, don't need it. So it's one and red for a two one. With first strike when it enters the battlefield, the train's just gone past. They go past roughly every half hour. When it enters the battlefield, you get two energy. Then if you cast it from your hand, exile cards from the top of your library into your exile non land. You may pay the card, cast the card by paying an amount of energy equal to its mana value rather than mana cost. All right. So we've got the sagas. We've got Fangs of Colonia. It's like a pump spell with Overload. So Overload, for those that don't know, is basically another mechanic. So basically, you may cast this spell for its Overload cost. 
So the original COD that had this, or well, not the original COD, but the most iconic one in, in Commander's Cyclonic Rift, where that goes from being bounce one thing to bounce the entire board pretty much. Anyway, this one is a uncommon, so it's not going to be as powerful as that one, but it puts a plus one count on target creature you control and double the plus one plus one counters on each creature that had a plus one plus one counter put on it that way. So pretty good in limited. <coughs> Bless me. Oh. This is like an old school frame one, unstable amulet. Uh, so I've got another Leela, which is kind of annoying. I didn't have one. One is okay, but the, sec the second one is a bit annoying. Anyway, I might trade it. All right, let's start one. And um, we got Flare of Duplication. So that's another one of the alternate rare uh, casting cost things. It's a, it's a fork effect. So it's a uh, copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Its normal cost is one of red and a red for you may sack a non-token red creature rather than pay the mana cost. Oh, oh hold on. Save the best or last. Uh, we've got the flip thing in foil. It's a monumental hedge. This enters the battlefield taps unless you control the planes. Taps are white. It's two white, white. Look at the top five card of the library. Reveal a historic card from them and put it into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom of the library in order. That's quite cool. The only problem is it's not legendary because I want to play it in, in my Captain Cisse deck, so I can't tutor for it, so that's not so good. All right, you can get, I believe you can get three rares in a pack, and that is basically the, a free pack, rare pack. And uh, then we get the land, and then we get a the paraphernalia at the back. All right, so we're going to break it up. So now I'm going to open... It's one of the promo packs from Outlaws of Thunder Junction. So these are those that don't know. You get these when you go to tournaments. They basically, they have some, which are the orange packets, which I'm not opening any of today, are basically ones that are not, like participation ones, which are given away. And these are ones they generally give to winners. I, so I did all right in my event at the weekend. I went to one, so I got one of these. I've done two drafts and... No, sorry, I haven't done two drafts. I've done three drafts and one sealed for comparison. Right, let's open one of these. And there's going to be a code that will go up now. So basically, you first come, first served. These ones you can claim, well, you can claim up to, I believe it's five of these codes. So anyway, the code's going to go up. Good luck to those that are claiming it. I'll put it up on the screen. And then we'll go to the actual contents of the pack. So this, for those that don't know, basically you put redeem this in Magic Arena. And it basically, it just gives you a booster pack. Whereas the ones that come in the pre-release pack will give you a five, uh, five or six, I think. Right, so good luck. Okay, so now we'll open the, the actual pack. All right. So I was trying to avoid the spoilers. Foil claim jumper. I believe I opened one of these recently. Uh, this looks like an identical pack to the one I opened. Uh, foil ruthless lawbringer. Ah, uh, that's all right. That's not bad. That's the Gitrog uh, Ravenous Ride. So that's the one that comes from Outlaws of the Junction. I have an original Gitrog, and he's in my... I've got a Commander deck based on him. I haven't featured him yet. I'll do him at some point. That's probably my most powerful Commander decks. All right, this is free of black and a green for a 6-5 with Trample and Haste. It's a Frog Horror, and he's a Mount as well. So this one is when the Gitrog... Uh, when get Rogue Ravenous Ride deals combat damage play, you may sacrifice a creature that subbed it. If you do draw X cards, then put up X lands from your hand onto battlefield tap, where X is sacrifice creature's power, and it's got saddle one. Uh, I'm thinking about putting it into my deck, uh, my commander deck, anyway. Right, now we've got some promos, which are just, they're not necessarily the most recent ones, but they were more or less recent ones. Okay, so we've got Arcane Signet. That's a nice Arcane Signet. There are many printings now. Take your pick. Um, we've got a planes. This is from the standard showdown. We found some recently at the thing that hadn't been. Uh, big. And thanks to all uh, everywhere where I play, thanks to the, my shop. So thanks to the Gamers Guild in Red Hill, which I run the F and M for, and thanks to the game shop in Aldershot in Hampshire, which I go to most weeks. All right. Then we've got Jed Light Spelunker. Uh, the Merfolk from Ixland, that was the buy box promo. So it's X in a green for a 1-1. One, one. When it enters, it explores X. You've got Transmutation font. Basically, it makes lots of tokens, blood, clues, food. You don't need to know. Costly Plunderer, the uh, second artifact or creature, draw two cards effect. 
We've got matted shape birds, so the thing that's also from uh, Thunder Junction. And then we have Magda to fin Magda the Horde Master, this one. So this being, uh, whenever you commit a crime, oh, that's a buy box promo from Thunder Junction. So it's one and a red for a 2-2. Two -two. Whenever you commit a crime, create a tap treasure token. This ability triggers only once each turn. Sap three treasures, create a 4-4. Four -four. Scorpion dragon creature with flying in haste, act fed as a sorcery. So it's good in stuff like Prosper again. And then lots of, of treasure generators now. They're pretty much evergreen. They're in pretty much every set. All right. Thanks very much for watching. And he said, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And, and say, don't forget also to not only to like, comment, and subscribe to me, but to subscribe to my friend's channel, which is Red Man of Madness, which provided my play map for the video. And he also, he does pack openings and various other things. And it's, he has his own eBay store. I mean, you say, also, if you enjoyed this, don't forget, I also do various other MTG content, like I do uh, my Commander series, and I also do various video game content. For, uh, for those that know, I'll just show my, a bit of my, the, so that's my, uh, the cupboard showing some of my video, most of my video game consoles. And I need to say, I do lots of, of videos of showing my physical collection and various pickup videos. I'm probably gonna do a pickup video for the video games soon. I've been busy buying stuff in between the magic play. All right, all right. And those are also the games, some of the games on the floor that I've left over from a PlayStation video. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Hopefully I'll be featuring my mill deck. I also be doing, uh, this is what I call the cracking pack series. So the next one of these, we should be doing Bloomborrow. And hopefully we'll go back to some more um, amount of packs. I normally crack at least two pre-release boxes, but the, this set is more expensive. And they should be another cracking packs, which will be my digital cracking packs soon, which will be for Hearthstone, as there's another uh, set for that coming out in a month. So I should be doing that as well, but that will be digital because it's not a physical game. All right, thanks very much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Thanks very much. Bye.